I'm Katrina Shearer and this, this is Wonderball. And welcome to the show where a wee bit of knowledge and a wee bit of luck could be winning one of today's teams a tasty £2,000 jackpot. In this pot are 15 balls, five for each team. So teams, the aim of the game is to answer questions correctly, to knock out your opponent's balls whilst keeping your own in play. Unlike bingo, unlike a lottery, our contestants do not want theirs to be picked because it's the last ball left in this pot at the end of the game, our wonder ball, that's worth £2,000. Martin Craig, welcome back to the show. Hello, you yeah. are playing with Pink today. Welcome back to Jessica and Sarah. You are Hi. on the blue <laughs> balls today. And it's hello and welcome to Ian and Debbie. You are playing with purple. Hello, yeah. thanks. Good luck, everybody. Marty and Craig, welcome back to the show, guys. Now, just remind us how you know each other and where you're from. Never met him before. <laughs> <laughs> so I know Craig from high school. Um, we kind of grew up in the environment together. And ever since then, just been good friends. When you were on last time, we found out that you guys are keen on cryptocurrency and the financial markets. So mm -hmm. how do you feel that you played the game last time? That was exactly like a market, that was. That was a market, <laughs> was yes. Whirlwind. It can be so volatile like the markets, can it? One minute you're up, the next minute you're down. Well, yeah. de definitely hoping to take something away today, so... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And if you won the jackpot today, the £2,000, what would you do with it? I've got a new house, take my family and friends out for a meal and buy some things for my house. Lovely. Well, it's great to see you both back on the show. Now, I am going to add in a danger ball to this pot. You know from last time, Marty and Craig, as do you, Jessica and Sarah, that this is not good news. We do not want this to be the last ball left at the end of the game because if this is the last ball at the end of the game, nobody wins the two grand. So it's in everybody's interest to find them as quickly as we can and get them out of play. OK, Marty and Craig, I'm going to wheak this pot down to you and you can take the first pick. Good luck. We don't want to see you pick one of your own here. On we go. Don't want to see cool, pink. <laughs> it's purple, and it's purple 11, one of Ian and Debbie's balls. So if Marty and Craig answer this question correctly, Ian and Debbie lose a ball from the game. Which substance that forms the outer layer of a tooth is the hardest tissue in the human body? Enamel. Enamel? It is enamel, yes. Yeah. So unfortunately, Ian and Debbie, purple 11 leaves the game. You've lost a ball already. Out it comes. Not going to be our wonder ball today. Not worth £2,000 to Ian and Debbie. You've still got four balls in the pot, though, guys, so don't worry. Hello again, Jessica and Sarah. Second and final time on the show today. Mm -hmm. So, how did you get on last time? We've done quite well, considering, because the danger balls kind of put us all off, but we walked away with 300, so we're happy with that. And you are friends from Ayrshire? Yep. Mm -hmm. OK. And remind us what you do. I'm a student at Harriet Watt in Edinburgh and I study chemistry and maths. So. A few chemistry and maths questions. You'll be hoping they come <laughs> up, will you? Yep, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and Jessica, what about you? I'm a clerical assistant with South Ayrshire Council. I work for the benefits department, so I just do various jobs around the office, like spreadsheets and all that interesting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, Jessica and Sarah, it's great to have you back on the show with us today. It's your turn to take a pick, so best of luck. It's another purple Sorry, ball. Guys. You picked out purple 15, <laughs> so if you answer this question correctly, Ian and Debbie lose another ball. What a welcome, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Which long-running TV drama created by Stephen Greenhorn regularly features a pub called The Tall Ship? It doesn't ring any bells straight no, away not to me. me. I can't think of anything. I want to say something like... Like, only fools and that's horses. That's the first thing that came Did you think yeah. that too? I would just guess it, only fools and horses. It's not, I'm nope. afraid, it's River City. Which is good news, Ian and Debbie, because that means that your purple 15 returns to the pot, not leaving the game. So, Ian and Debbie, welcome to the show. It's great to have the two of you here. How do you know each other? Well, I've got six children. What? And four of them, <laughs> when they were all going to school, Ian's mum, Margaret, took care of them. So me and Ian got friendly. Ah, yeah, through that, yeah. OK, six kids, Debbie. I know. Wow, so what, what's the age range? Um, 32 and 30, mm -hmm. then it skips and it's 17, 16, 14 and 13. Wow. How have you even got time to be here? I know. <laughs> <laughs> and any subjects in particular that you would like to come up 
Geography, history, right, but not sport. <laughs> not just <laughs> sport. Okay, well, what about you, Ian? In sport, are you any good at that? I've got basic knowledge, uh, basic all-round knowledge, you know. But uh, TV and films is probably my strongest points. Okay, and what do you do? I'm an electrician. Uh, work for myself, and right. uh, now and again I do a wee bit of extra work. It just came about last last year, so. I've ah. started getting into that because I enjoy doing that. It's good fun. Right, so any shows that we would recognise then? Uh, Shetland. Oh, yes. Shetland. Uh -huh. I played a barman. Uh... And did you? <laughs> <laughs> and how, was, how much fun was that then? Oh, it was good fun. It was good fun. Uh... It's different from being on the, the other side of the bar. So. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. So it's great to have you both on the show. What would you do with the £2,000 if you won the jackpot? You, Debbie? Well, my daughter is going to be taking her driving test quite soon. <gasps> okay. So I might help her out with a wee second-hand car. Oh, yeah, fab, yeah. yeah. See how it goes. And what about you, Ian? Well, I'd like to take my son to Lapland if we won. You know, oh, so amazing. I've always wanted to go to Lapland. Right, so. How old's the wee man? He's nine. Archie's nine. Oh, great. Archie, that's a lovely name. Well, let's see if we can win you some cash on the show today, Ian and Debbie. Best of luck, guys. It's your turn to pick. What's it going to be? Oh, it's Blue 7. It's Jessica and Sarah's ball. Which popular type of coffee made with frothed milk gets its name because its colour supposedly resembles the habit of a religious order? Frothy coffee. I know. Um, <laughs> we've got latte, cappuccino. Um, nothing's dumping into my head. No, I'm a hot chocolate. We'll have on. to have a guess. <laughs> <laughs> Cappuccino? Cappuccino. It is cappuccino, oh. yes. <laughs> it's from the Italian capuchin because its colour resembles that of a capuchin friar's habit. Oh. There we go. Unfortunately, Jessica and Sarah Blue 7 leaves the game. That is not our wonder ball today. This not worth two grand to Jessica and Sarah. Play is back with Marty and Craig. We don't want to see a pink. Let's see red. Haven't chosen the That's danger red, ball man. yet. It's purple 15, Ian and Debbie's. What name is given to a number that can only be divided by one and itself? Our math teacher is going to be watching this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, prime is the first thing that came to mind. We'll say prime. It is prime, yep, prime cool. number. Awesome. Ian and Debbie, lose another ball. Pl okay. Pass it down, please. Purple 15 leaving the game, unfortunately. Ian and Debbie, you've lost two balls so far in this round. Still got three in the pot, though, and only one ball can be the Wonder Ball anyway. Yep. Jessica and Sarah, play is now with you. Oh, oh it's another sorry, pink one guys. out the pot. <laughs> it's one of Marty and Craig's. So, what's the title of the 1989 Disney film in which the character Ariel first appears? The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. The Little, Little Mermaid. Mermaid is the Little Mermaid. Marty hanging his head there because you knew it as well and you knew that was correct, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> Pink 2 leaves the game, Marty and Craig, so pass it down. Oh, Pink 2 not our wonder ball today, so we're on to Ian and Debbie. You've lost two balls so far in the game, still three in there. Let's yeah. see that danger ball, though. Oh, it's <sighs> one of Jessica and Sarah's, it's blue eight. The DJ who took over from Nick Grimshaw in August 2018 as host of the Radio One breakfast show is Greg who? Oh, it's, I don't listen to Radio I One. Know, honestly, You're busy I watching know. the breakfast news, aren't you, Ian? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast news and Radio Two. Oh, Radio <laughs> Two. Hey, uh, Greg, I don't know why. Greg Wild is the name that came, or Wilder that came to the name. What are we saying then, Wilder? Wilder? Wilder. Greg Wilder? Yeah. It's not Greg Wilder. It's Greg James. Oh. Greg James. So, Ian and Debbie didn't get that question right. Jessica and Sarah, good news for you. The ball goes back into play. And it's back to Marty and Craig. Wake it back. We're finding the danger ball now, aren't okay. we? Let's get it out of play. Do Let's see red, Craig. Oh, Excellent! Yay. Oh, I'm going to try that more often. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Which song by Duran Duran was the group's first UK number one single? I know you're all looking at us now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel useless here, but I don't even think I know any uh, of the songs. <laughs> I think it was Wild Boys. I think I'll trust this, you. I'll yeah, trust yeah. you on that one. This <laughs> must be played in Radio 2, Ian. <laughs> it's actually, I've got it in the van. <laughs> <laughs> what are we thinking then, guys? I mean, I'd back that up because I don't 
I can't think of any names of the songs. I think we'll go I with your we'll answer. Yep. Yeah. Just, just don't Whatever he says. <laughs> <laughs> What's the answer then, Martin? We'll Martin say Wild Boys. Wild Boys, it's not. That is a Duran Duran oh, song, of yeah. course. But their first UK number one single was Is There Something I Should Know? Oh. The danger ball goes back into the pot. Not good news. Jessica and Sarah, it's your turn to pick. Maybe the danger ball again. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Let's see red, Jessica. One more ball to leave the game before I offer you the chance to sell oh, a ball. Ah. Oh, it's purple again. It's purple 13. What alternative term for a TV or radio aerial is also a word for a long, thin feeler on the head of an insect? Antenna. Antenna. Yeah. yeah. Confident with that. Yeah, antenna. Antenna. It is antenna, yes, absolutely. So Purple 13 leaves the game, unfortunately, for Ian and <laughs> Debbie. That is our <laughs> fifth ball to go in the first round, and it's the third Purple 13, not our Wonder Ball today. Before I add in another danger ball, I'm going to give you all the chance to sell me a ball for £100. If we can pass that down to Marty and Craig, please. We'll see what our cryptocurrency-loving fifers are thinking. <laughs> well, I'd pay 100 to buy a ball back, so... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, is that on the table? Uh, that's not in the rules, but oh. we can maybe revise them for the next series. <laughs> mm, obviously, no. We'll no, keep, not keep this playing. Time. Okay, dokie. Right, so Jessica and Sarah, you now have the £100 in your hand. Remember, if you do sell a ball, you take that money home. That's guaranteed at the end of the show, no matter what. The ball stays in the pot, though, and it doesn't belong to you anymore. So if that is the last ball at the end of the game, it would have been worth £2,000. So it could be a costly decision. Or it could be worth nothing, <laughs> in which case it's been a good decision. <laughs> We're passing? Yep, we'll yep. pass with it. We'll pass, please. <laughs> Not tempted this time, no problem. Pass it down to Ian and Debbie, please. Ian and Debbie. I think we'll just play the game. So you mean don't take it? Don't take right. it. OK. No, then, we're not taking it. OK, that's absolutely fine. Ian and Debbie not taking the £100 either. I'm going to have to add in another danger ball, guys. I'm sorry. Can somebody pass me the pot down? Thank you. Don't look at me like that, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> they make me do it. <laughs> I'm going to add this in, guys. OK. Ian and Debbie, I'm going to pass it to you now. Good luck. Great to see a danger ball come out here, Debbie. Let's see if we can pull red from the pot. What's it going to be? Oh, it's blue six. It's one of Jessica and Sarah's. Ian and Debbie, who played Rachel Green in the US sitcom Friends? Rachel, what was that? Jennifer Aniston. That's the one. 100%? Yep. Uh, Jennifer Aniston? It is indeed Jennifer oh, Aniston. Right. Yes, unfortunately, Jessica and Sarah, that ball so leaves the game. It's okay. Blue six, not worth two grand to Jessica and Sarah. I'll pop it on there. OK, Martin Craig, four balls left in there. Two danger balls. Let's see one of those leave the pot. Oh, it's one of your oh. own, Marty. It's pink five. Now, I'm going to ask you a harder question. Phobos and Deimos are the names of the two moons of which planet in our solar system? Oh, my goodness. You're revising this. You're revising this, Craig? Mm -hmm. You were uh, looking at the solar system before we came on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jupiter or Saturn? It's uh, going back to Greek mythology, I believe, so I'd say Jupiter. It's got the most. Phobos. Well, there's a higher Phobos. chance of it being Phobos. So yeah. between Saturn and Jupiter, what would you go with? I'd just have to go Jupiter. You sure? So let's go Jupiter. Jupiter. It's not, I'm afraid, it's Mars. Sorry, guys. Marty and Craig, you couldn't manage to save your pink five ball there. It leaves the game. Not our wonder ball today. Not worth two grand to Marty and Craig. So play is now with Jessica and Sarah. Come on, we need to get these danger balls out, girls. Oh. Let's see red, Jessica. Oh, oh you've picked no. one of your own. It's blue eight. In the term E number that's applied to food additives, what does the letter E stand for? It's defo something to do with, like, the... Colouring and the sugar and the yeah and sweets um, and stuff, but I don't know what it would stand for. I keep thinking enzyme, but that's not that's <laughs> not to do I with don't it. Know if that would be right. <laughs> Again, um, a harder question. It's uh, a tough one, isn't it? It's is a hard one. Cause it's for your own <laughs> ball. Oh, no. That's literally the only word I can think of, and I don't think that's right. We'll just go with what you said. Sir. If you like nothing we'll else. Just, no, I can't think. We're of just anything. gonna guess enzyme, but pretty sure that's not right. It's not right, I'm afraid. It's Europe. Wouldn't have known that. Yeah. <laughs> comes from the European Food Directive. So, unfortunately, guys, Blue 8 leaves the game. Sorry, oh. Jessica and Sarah. <laughs> Thank you. So, Blue 8, not our wonder ball today. Ian and Debbie, the pick is with you. OK, right, let's get a danger ball out, Ian. 
Oh, it's pink four. It's one of Marty and Craig's. In a game of chess, which piece can only move diagonally? Do you play chess, Ian? I do. <laughs> <laughs> not, not for a while. Because I don't. Is it the rook or the bishop? That's a... What other pieces do you get? King, obviously. King, queen. You've got your knights. You've got castle. Which is the rook, is it not? Is it bishop? Is it? Bishop, I'm sure it is. Do you want to go with bishop then? Yep. It is indeed Bishop. Marty knew that as well. He knew that was the right answer. He <laughs> well closed his eyes there. Pink four, unfortunately, Martin Craig leaves the game. So that's two balls that you've lost in this round, guys. Please, now with you, Martin Craig. One more ball to leave the game and I'll offer you the next chance to sell. OK, it's a blue Aww. ball. It's <laughs> blue nine. In Albert Einstein's famous equation, E equals MC squared, the letter C represents the speed of what? Light. It is indeed light. E is energy, M is mass, and C is the speed of light squared. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Down it comes, okay. Jessica <laughs> and Sarah. Unfortunately for you, you lose another ball. That's three in this round, guys. That's really unlucky. OK, guys, another five balls have left the game. Before I add in another one of these danger balls, I'm going to give you the chance to sell. This time, I'm going to offer you £200. Jessica and Sarah, we'll start with you. £200, see what we think about that. I don't know. It's, I don't... it's quite tempting, but there's also, like, six other balls in there, so it doesn't mean it's going to get picked out. I don't think just we should. Yet. I don't think we should, I think. We've got Do you want to just risk it and at least hold yeah. out to another we'll round? Hold out, yeah. Yeah. No problem. Pass it to Ian and Debbie, please, and we'll see what they're thinking. What are we thinking? <laughs> it's a hundred pounds for you and a hundred for me. It is. Splits <laughs> better than the last hundred, so... Yeah, you just sell one of them. OK. Right. OK, Ian and Debbie, you're going to sell one of them. Which would you like to sell, 12 or 14? 12. Yep. 12, please. OK, Ian and Debbie, any particular reason you were quite adamant about that there, Debbie? I know I was. I don't know. It just <laughs> jumped out at me. <laughs> OK, well, Ian and Debbie are going to sell purple 12. You keep the £200, you can take okay. that away today. 12 stays in the pot, though, but it's no longer belonging to you, so <laughs> we hope that that's not the last ball left at the end of the game. I'm going to give £200 down the line now to Marty and Craig and see what they're thinking. Marty and Craig, you <laughs> took a bit... <laughs> Took a bit of a hit in that round as well, Marty yep. and Craig. You lost two balls. So are we thinking of selling, potentially, or...? Well, I'm thinking of get one ball, but my friend here... <laughs> I'm, I'm good to what keep playing. What are we thinking? Cut it in half. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm for playing. We'll no. just go for it. We'll OK, for you're it. not going to sell? No. OK, I'll take the money back then, guys. Thank you very much. So I'm about to add another danger ball. <laughs> Let's get this out quickly, guys. Three in here. We need to find them. OK, play is back with Jessica and Sarah. It's your turn. We do not want to see blue ten here. Oh, it's Marty Sorry, and guys. Craig's pink three. OK, Jessica and Sarah. In which city in northern England was the BBC sitcom The Royal Family set? If it's The Royal right. Family, it would be somewhere like... Where's that? I don't know if it, like, if it is, if they are actually posh in it. I've not seen it. Are they not royal? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know if it's like a take on it, though. Like, I don't know if they are actually royal. I don't even know what's northern. Cities like Manchester and... What's a city I in? don't know if that's northern. It don't really matter. You can't... Do you want to it. say Manchester? Yeah. OK, I can't think of anything. Um, Manchester? It is Manchester, yes, that's absolutely <laughs> correct. Nothing to do with royalty. It was the comedy with Caroline Ahern and Ricky Tomlinson. Pink three leaves the game, unfortunately, Marty and Craig. Sorry. Oh, you could have sold that moments ago as well for £200. That's a sore one, guys, isn't yep. it? That's yep. worthless that, now, that ball. That's the game. That is the game. the game, and you yep. still have a ball left in, and there can only be one wonder ball, so it could still be pink one. Ian and Debbie, you just sold for £200, purple 12. Be great to pick that out. That's the best scenario for you. Oh, it's a danger oh. ball. That's a great situation for everybody. Which future Conservative Prime Minister was Liberal MP for Dundee from 1908 to 1922? <laughs> <laughs> no We're comment. all dumbfounded. <laughs> During the First World War. Uh, the, the dates go over the first war. So it's got war. to be a prime minister and from Scottish. that time, then. Churchill was a right, prime minister at that time. Probably just say Churchill then, if 
Do you think Chuck Chuck? I think he was I think it will be, but I, <laughs> no. I wouldn't know another guess. Just go for it. Winston Churchill. It is Winston oh! Churchill! <laughs> Well done, guys. Pass that danger ball down, well Debbie. Well Thank done, you. So we've managed to get one out of three. Fantastic. OK, the next pick is with Marty and Craig. Just one more ball to leave the game, and then there are no more questions, Marty and Craig. Good luck. We do not want to see pink one come out here. Another danger, Marty. Oh, it's purple 14, which is the one that Ian and Debbie didn't sell. Domingo is the Spanish for which day of the week? Pun. Like, picking out the dark, I'd say, like, Tuesday, but I have no idea. Sounds like a weekend of some sort. I can't I'm having a, a Domingo rest. Or, <laughs> sort of. I think that's uh, trademarked right now by you. Domingo. <laughs> I don't want to have it on me, so Tuesday. Oh, right, right OK. <laughs> Mr. I don't know Mars. I would have said Saturday, but Tuesday. <laughs> what are we saying, then? Tuesday. It's not Tuesday, it's Sunday. I've not got it anyway. So. Oh, well, never mind. You've not answered that question correctly, but great for Ian and Debbie as that ball returns to the pot. Back into live play. Jessica and Sarah, the next pick is with you. Now, we do not want to see blue 10 here, oh. Jessica. That's your last live ball in there. Oh. It's pink one. It's Marty and Craig's last live ball. Who wrote the 1818 novel, The Heart of Midlothian? Absolutely no, no clue. I'm, no, just, I'm just going to be truthful there. No, I've got no, no clue. We'll just pass. I think we need I to think. pass. I don't even think we could guess that one. OK, no problem. It was Sir Walter Scott. So, pink one goes back into the pots. <sighs> Size of relief there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> OK, it's on to Ian and Debbie. One more ball to leave the pots. Debbie, you'll be hoping to see purple 12 come out. Oh, oh no. it's blue 10. It's Jessica and Sarah's final live ball. The national flag of Canada features the leaf of which tree? Maple. Uh, there's yeah. only one. Uh, maple leaf? It is indeed maple leaf. So, unfortunately for Jessica and Sarah, blue 10 <laughs> leaves the oh. game. That wasn't going to be our wonder ball today, <laughs> Jessica and Sarah, but unfortunately, you didn't cash mm. in at the last sale. So... We have to say goodbye to you at this stage. It's been great having you on the show. Thanks You're not taking anything away you. today, but you did win some money the last mm -hmm. time. Have you enjoyed playing? Oh, we've had yeah, a great time, really. Oh, <laughs> good. Well, we've really enjoyed having you. Thank you so much, Thanks. guys. Five balls left in the pot. From here on in, there are no more questions. Marty and Craig, Ian and Debbie, you're now going to pick from the pot one by one until just one ball is left. But before we start that, I'm going to give you both the chance to sell your remaining live ball for £300. Ian and Debbie, here we are. I'm actually the opinion we just go for it and pick the balls. OK, so I don't think we're going to sell. No problem. Ian and Debbie, please pass it down to Marty and Craig. This is your second and last appearance <laughs> on the show. You didn't cash in any balls the last time. So, what are we thinking today? Keys that. <laughs> Either leaving with a guaranteed £300, you could be leaving <sighs> with two grand, or nothing. It's a lot of money. Is it? It is a lot of money. <laughs> I would say no, because I am who I am. Right, we'll just go for it then. We'll just. Some good entertainment for everyone at home. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you're passing it back. No problem, yes. Martin Craig. Have to take that £300 back reluctantly. This is the moment of truth. Five balls left in the pot, two live balls, one sold ball and two danger balls. Which one will be today's wonder ball? Marty and Craig, please pick a ball. No more questions, remember. Let's get these danger balls out. Because you've um, committed to this. I'll well, push you. both okay. committed to this. I'll push you, right. Oh, but then again, yeah, go for it. Just go for it. Just... Find a red. Find a red. Get a danger <laughs> ball out, Marty. Come on. Yes! yes! Fantastic. That leaves the game immediately. Pass it down, please. That has been eliminated. And how good does that look coming down the line, out of the pot and onto the rack? OK, so four balls left in the pot now. Ian and Debbie, you really want to find that purple 12. We don't want that to be today's yeah. Wonder Ball, so mm -hmm. let's pick it out, Ian. Fingers crossed. Come on, Ian. <laughs> Come on. It's oh, another danger, danger ball. ball. Also good news. Right. 
Another danger ball bites the dust. Three balls left, two live, one sold. <laughs> <sighs> Marty and Craig, if you pick out purple 12, it's a great scenario because Ian and Debbie have sold it and then it means that somebody's winning £2,000 today. <laughs> we don't want to see pink one. Craig, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, well, this is for friends and family watching. <laughs> Feeling the energy from them right now, so... <laughs> oh, no! Marty and Craig! It's pink one, the last oh. live ball of years. Pass it down the line. Unfortunately, guys, you played a brave and bold <laughs> game. You've been used to taking gambles on the cryptocurrency markets, but today that gamble didn't pay off. Marty, I think you're laughing, cos if you didn't laugh, you would cry, yeah? No, I'm like, that's great, watching him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, you had a chance to cash that in moments ago as well for £300 and you didn't. So, unfortunately, you're leaving the game today <laughs> and you're leaving with nothing. You've been such lovely contestants, though, and um, no, thank you so great, much. it's been a great experience, honest. It's, couldn't have imagined any better. <laughs> oh, good. Well, thank you very much for being with us, Marty and Craig. Thank Thanks you. for playing. Thank you very much. Yep. OK, so it's on to Ian and Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Ian and Debbie. Yes, no, doing it. <laughs> Two balls left in that pot. One live, one sold. We are all rooting for you. Nobody else has a chance at the jackpot apart from yourselves. We want to see Purple 12 come out of the pot here. Fingers crossed. Good luck, you can guys. can do it, Ian. Ian and Debbie, good luck. Give them a good shake. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's oh. purple 14! <laughs> Agony! Ian and Debbie, you've picked out your last live ball, meaning that the wonder ball today is purple 12. Unfortunately, you cashed it in earlier in the show for £200 and it would have won you £2,000 today. Guys, purple 12 was our wonder ball. I'm sorry you don't win the cash, though. You are leaving today with £200 and you will get another shot at the jackpot on the next show, so how are you feeling? It was 50-50 chance, wasn't it? It so was. At least we got something. That's a lovely way of looking at it. You're going home with £200. Oh, you couldn't write it. Absolute agony for Ian and Debbie there. What's going to happen next time? Well, you should watch and find out. Bye-bye.